Hi everyone, it's me Kelly again. I am here to share with you one more project. We mentioned on the show that one way you can save plastic is by making your own reusable shopping bag instead of using the plastic ones every time you go to the store. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. Um, I have an example here. So this is a t-shirt I used. Um, just hold this up here so you can see what it's going to look like. So it's got some fringes on the bottom and then two carrying straps right here, okay? So I'm gonna show you how to make this. So the first thing you're gonna need is of course a t-shirt. I have these old t-shirts from a while ago. I don't recommend using a nice brand new t-shirt if you have a shirt with a hole in it or some stains on it, um, maybe one that's too small for you now. Um, find one that you can't wear anymore, <laughs> okay? Um, maybe one that's about to go in the trash anyway. And then you're gonna use that because you're gonna be cutting this up as you saw, so you wanna make sure that you don't need to wear it anymore. Okay, so all you need is the t-shirt and then scissors. So this is no sewing, no gluing. You're literally just gonna be using scissors and the shirt. So to start off, you're gonna lay your t-shirt flat and we're gonna start with the top. We wanna turn this shirt here into straps on the top. Okay, so to do that, we are going to cut along here. We're gonna cut off each sleeve here and here and then we're also gonna cut out the neck. Okay, now, you do wanna be really careful. Try to lay the shirt maybe on top of a piece of cardboard or something flat, because if you put it like maybe on your carpet, you might accidentally cut the carpet underneath. You'll notice I'm kind of trying to pull the shirt tight while I cut. It just helps you cut um, a little bit smoother, but it really does not have to be perfect at all. You can always cut a whole new line if you need to. Oh, just try not to cut your finger, be really careful. <laughs> Okay, and so then you just have a hole right here where the arm was. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side, cutting off the other sleeve. So I'm just following the seam where the shirt attaches, or I'm sorry, where the sleeve attaches already. But if you want to cut it a little bit differently, you can, as long as you create that hole. Okay, so the next step is to cut out move this down a little bit, cut out along here. Now, if you cut along the line that's already there, your hole for your opening for your bag is gonna be really small. So I like to cut just a little bit deeper just to make it more like an actual shopping bag. So I'm gonna actually flip this upside down here just to make it easier to cut. I'm gonna go ahead and do this. I'm not gonna be super precise or anything. It's not like I'm measuring. Let's turn sideways just making it deep enough that I have a big enough opening for my groceries or my lunch, my books, whatever I'm putting in here. Turn one more time and cut through the top. So you'll notice it's not cutting super smoothly. The sharper your scissors, the better it's gonna cut, but also the sharper your scissors, the more dangerous they are. So <laughs> if you have really nice sharp scissors, you can maybe ask a parent or an older sibling to help you cut. All right, the last step, is to look at the bottom here. So right now we've obviously got an opening. We don't want our stuff to fall out the bottom. So what we're gonna be doing, make sure it's nice and flat here, is we're gonna cut strips along the bottom and then we're gonna tie those strips together to make the bottom. So just to show you on here, you can see we have these knots along the bottom like that where I cut those strips. You can see the little, little flappies, okay? So um, when you cut, you can decide how wide you want them to be and how far up you go. The farther up you go, the longer your little fringes are gonna be, but then you also will have less space in your bag because you cut so far up. So I like to do it about this high where my scissors are. And then the wider your strips are, if you cut them like really wide, they're a little harder to tie. But if you cut them really skinny, then it takes you forever to tie them. So <laughs> I'm gonna go kind of a happy medium. I'm gonna cut about here and you're just going to cut as far up as you need to. And then one thing to be careful of is, I'll just show you here, I held together both um, like flaps of the shirt, like the front and back. I didn't just cut through one layer, right? I cut through both layers. Um, on the very ends right now, this is all one piece because of that side seam. So I'm gonna do something kind of weird. I'm gonna turn this and I'm gonna cut open the edge just so that it's two flaps. So now I can pull that apart like that. See that? Okay, so let's go ahead and keep going. I'm not gonna do the whole thing because I, it, it will take forever, um, but I will do a couple strips and then show you how to tie the knots. So I'm holding it together, cutting up. 
try to go about the same distance as far up as you do. Try to do that the same each time. It's really not a big deal if they're not exactly the same. You can see like my edges are kind of rough here. Really doesn't matter. No one's going to be looking too close. Okay, let's do one more. And then same thing with the thickness. Like if one strip is wider than another one, not a big deal. Okay, so I'm going to stop there just so you can see. So you'll go all the way across. And then remember on this end to do the same thing where you put your scissors in and cut open the edge so that you can have a flap. So make sure you do that on both sides. Okay, so the next part is really easy and kind of fun, I think at least. You're going to take the two strips that are on top of each other, a little strip sandwich, if you will, and you're going to take those strips, pull them apart like this, and then tie them. So I'm doing one knot, okay, just like you use on your shoes, and then another knot. Make sure you double knot it and pull it nice and tight ooh, like that so that it stays there, okay? Now you're gonna keep going down the row. Make sure that when you take your two strips, they're the strips that match up. You don't wanna accidentally grab a different strip from the bottom because that's gonna then kind of be a mismatch, okay? So next strip, one knot, pull, and then double knot and pull, okay? You'll notice it might kind of bunch up, which is fine. You can kind of pull apart on the bottom if you want to space out your knots. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop there, but what you'll end up getting, like I showed you on the other bag, is this bottom row here, you can see has all these little knots and little fringes. So now I have this bag that I can put any of my stuff in, put my scissors in here, do a little cleanup, put my other bag inside there, finish that one at home, okay? And now I've got this awesome grocery bag that I can take with me and use for anything. It's nice and sturdy and it saves a ton of plastic because it lasts a very long time and you can even throw it in the washer and dryer like you would a regular t-shirt. So have fun with this. I hope you make some awesome bags and feel free to send us some pictures of your finished products. See ya.